The last of the South Korean Big Four crypto exchange platforms, Bitum, has finally received an operating license from the nation's financial regulator, the Financial Intelligence Unit (FIU). Bitum had submitted its application to the FIU ahead of the latter's September 24 deadline. But the trading platform, which was until very recently the nation's busiest, had been in limbo until this past weekend, waiting for the FIU to finish reviewing its documents. The market leading up it received its permit several weeks ago, and was followed by fellow Big Four members Corbett and Cornell. Under tough new regulations, only permit holders with banking partnership deals allowing them to conduct real name verified trading are allowed to provide fiat on slash off ramp services. Bitham had faced a nervous wait for FIU approval, with some experts previously suggesting that legal issues concerning the company's largest shareholder might have caused the regulator to withhold a permit. Trading platforms with aspirations to rival the Big Four and their vice-like grip on Bitcoin BTC, and major altcoin trading also received a boon, as the first batch of crypto-to-crypto -crypto licenses were also granted to two medium-sized crypto exchanges, Newsies reported. The FIU has stated that crypto exchanges that failed to obtain banking licenses before September 24 were free to apply for crypto-to-crypto -crypto trading permits providing they obtained Information Security Management System ISMS, certification from a government tech agency. Around a dozen exchanges did precisely this, having failed to find banking partners, instead opening a number of Bitcoin to altcoin markets to broaden their trading offerings. South Korean media outlets have previously reported that another exchange, Coinbit, has already found an, unnamed, banking partner and is waiting to obtain FIU permission before trying to break the big force monopoly of crypto to fiat markets.